hi guys um i'm in the kitchen i'm making banga stew which in Igbo will call it ofako but i just want to show you guys how i do it how i make mine you will learn a new style of making ofako <laughs> Yeah, I was done cooking my palm nuts. It was soft, so I had to bring it down and pound it inside my mortar. So after pounding it, I used some water to wash them out. You can see the blue bowl is with the is a palm nuts and the chaff from it. Then the pot is an oil extract I got from extracting the, the palm nut. The process. So I was done already with I was done extracting the palm the palm oil. So I had to sieve the chaff from the oil. And another thing is that you need to be careful while extracting the oil. The quantity of water you add to the process, you need to be conscious about it because the more water you add the more it takes time to boil, the, the more it takes time to get dry. So you have to be conscious and add little quantity, little by little. So this is it. I was done and ready to put on fire. It's now I have to put it on the fire. My extract, seeds, the big quantity. Wow, it's creepy. Is it paying off for family of five? Mm. This is the cow leg I bought. Um, I use the pressure co uh, pot to cook it because you know how cow leg is thinner. Very strong. Mm. I don't want to waste my gas. I just cooked it for one hour, Sha. Let me test and see if it's still strong. It's too strong, so I have to def definitely actually I just need for one hour too. Because I know I'm using the style my mother in law talk to me. So I'll just have to add the meat inside the oil as it's boiling. So once you put your extract on fire eh, and cover it, be watchful because it, it will foam up and then spill on the gas and to mess up your kitchen. So the best thing to do, like, and that's why I said my mother in law system is just best and perfect for me. Once I add the meat inside of it, the meat, the stock water will be added later. Your meat is not strong like this cow, the time I put it your hand. Don't don't steam it. Don't even boil it. You understand? Because once it is boiled and you add it immediately, when it gets done, it will be all too over soft. And it is so soft, like as if you want to cook it for a baby, and you won't like it as an adult. So whether you don't even steam it at all, I did. I had to boil my little because it's cow leg and. It's very very strong. So that's all for the meat. This is blended fresh tomatoes. The plan is that I, I have to cut the fresh tomatoes not to blend. But when I came back from the market, I asked my younger brother to help me blend the crayfish and then the pepper. 
and he went to blend the tomatoes too. And this, I just bought this um, small quantity of tomatoes for this thing because just need, I just need small quantity. But he went to blend it, and there's nothing I can do. So this will also be another new try. We are trying this for the first. I'm trying this for the first time using a blended tomatoes because what I normally do, what I was taught is I have to just chop chop the tomatoes into bits and then add to it. But since he blended this now, we have to use it and then try a new style. I'll be adding the fresh tomatoes. I want, as we are all trying it, using the blended uh, tomatoes to try. But well, actually what I was told, as I said earlier, is chopping it. So let's see how this one goes. I don't know how. Thing I've added to it now, it will all go down. Say hello. <laughs> hello, Price. Kayla doesn't want a mommy to cook. She wants her to carry her. Say hello. <laughs> okay, now I need to add my uh, dry fish. So that's why I said this is the a different and the simplest way of making your banga stew. Once you put your extract on fire, you add your meat, raw meat. But if your meat is a very strong meat, like a cow leg as I'm using, you can cook it for a little, remove it out of the stock and then pour it inside. So it will be cooking with the extract. And after that, you, you use your fresh tomatoes. Normally, I chop my fresh tomatoes and add. But because my younger brother made a mistake yesterday and blended it all, so I just had to add it. And then, this is also, I'm also trying this for the first time to see how it will come out. So after this now, I'll have to add my dry fish. Just wash them and then add that fish into it. We'll be using this four big dry fish to cook. I also went to the wet market and I had to buy half carton, half carton of the dry fish in a cardo fish market. Okay, now I need to wash the dry fish. Then add to it. Okay, I, I've changed it. I turned it to the my, to my pressure pot. My pressure pot is bigger, so I turned it to the pressure pot because if I had gone out, definitely to spill of and um, mess up my kitchen. So I had to ch uh, change it again yeah. and to add my fish. I'm adding the fish now. Dry fish for test. Yes. So all the time to boil to get that. Let me see if this my pot can cover it. No, no, no. It's very big. So my pressure pot over. I wouldn't want to cover it much. Just let that be opening so that it won't spill. So as now I can go do something else. I'm about to check. While I'm cooking, let's know how far it has gone. Whoa! Yeah, do you see? The oil is up. It's floating up. So our food is getting ready. So voila, it's for the oil to... It's for the food to make more oil. And when you see the oil floating like this, like this part, you see this oil, it needs more of it before you know your food is get, is ready. But now we're getting it, but it's not ready. As you've seen, our stove is almost getting ready, so we need to add pepe. Oh, this is my pepe. I love my stoves to be pepe. Let's add all this. 
Warum ist er das Ganze jetzt so? Just now they need to water to it. Just need to water because we don't need water again. Whoa, you guys need to see this. Yeah, do you see? Do you see the oil is up? So our food is getting ready. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. So as you see that the oil is floating up the oil is floating up and it's boiling so as it's getting ready so with time our food will be ready well as you need a lot of crayfish and you know the quantity i have is much so i need to put a lot of crayfish way to make this you don't even need much stress you can see my stuff is ready just for me to add seasoning and then the, my scent leaf my scent leaf is you know this is based on the quantity of the food if i'm making less than this i won't put this quantity so now i have to put my seasoning okay Okay, I forgot. Before I forget, this is my opening. I need to add the bay to it. Everything is based on the quantity. My quantity is, more, is a large quantity, so I have to put more quantity. Okay, now I'm I love buying the powder. The, Seasoning. I don't like buying the cubes. Okay, the last time I bought cubes was because of them. I bought no Maggi cube. It was so strong. To break the cube, I had to break it in mortar. That was the day I said I just cancelled anything cube. So I always go for the powdered one. And I use this is a chicken one. I also have the. I also buy chicken and seasoning. This is the one on the chicken powder, so. and I, I use both of them for my meal. So. Since I've been using this side, I have never, my food has never been burnt. I need not anything, so that's why I just bought the start. It's very easy. Please, in the comment section, I would like to have your opinion, your suggestion, your advice. What do you think about this process? Is it the simplest? Or you think the other one, other way is the simplest and the easiest? So what do you think? Do you so think let's add you the same thing. Why am I? It's very, it dried very easy because I was so conscious about the quantity of water I use in extracting the, the oil from. I, I use in extracting the extract from the chaff and the nut. So, but if your water is in much, it will take time to dry. So be conscious about it. Use little quantity. I just need to do scent leaf. Just need it so heat for the scent leaf before bring it down. Okay. See what we're getting from it. Ooh. This is beautiful. This is you see the oil I'm talking about. This is it. Ah, I can't wait to test this yummy yummy stew. This is my husband's favorite stew. He loves it so much and I always try my best to make it for him to put a smile on his face. He knows it's a long process and it's stressful. But anytime I make it for him, he's so glad and he will appreciate it. So, uh, this is the end of the cooking but there's another part the very important part which is the yum yum part 
all done guys and join me later let us test this malicious malicious <laughs> This is our result. Food came out so lovely. Please do not forget to subscribe, click on the notification button, like, comment, and share. Thank you guys. Bye.